Okay, so let's zoom in and show you guys this preoperative view. This is a year ago. You can see the crookedness, the fullness, the droopiness. Just in general, not pleasing. She has such a warm smile, but the nose took up too much real estate. Very natural results today. Let's go look. One year post-op, you can see I kept enough fullness here where it wasn't pinched. We didn't do the nostrils because I wanted to match her width. I didn't want a lot of change. Now she does have the option if she wants to narrow these nostrils in a little bit. So on the front view, you can see this area will continue to thin out. She's almost a year out. Noses like this where they have the pores, the sebaceous glands and the thicker skin take a year and a half to two years to shrink. We could speed it up by injecting a secret cocktail of material under the skin here. But you can see this nice seamless narrowing. The nose matches better and the profile view looks very natural. Now this part here can come in a little bit over time. This is where she's going to see some changes right in here as it gets uh, further in the years. She'll see that. Let's look at her profile. See, a lot of what I did was to change that nostril relationship. Go ahead and smile for me. So when she smiles, you can see this nostril relationship with this skin bridge, the columella, the way it hooks down. Now when she smiles, it's still her, it's seamless. This will come in more with time. It's an empty space where her skin needs to shrink. But this is the key with rhinoplasty, is creating a keep them guessing result, but doing enough to the nose where it was worth her time, investment, recovery, and all that kind of annoyance. And she can further get improvement. We're gonna put her on a skincare regimen, which once, once again is kind of secretive. Skincare regimen, possible injections under the skin to continue to make that skin this thick to shrink wrap and thin out so we can see the frame underneath more and more as the months and years come.